Is it possible that you can overdose or possibly die using baking soda? Well, I scoured the web and I couldn't find any cases of such, but I did find one case of an elderly man that was using baking soda to relieve his pain caused by his ulcer. Now, after slipping on the child's toy, he could not get up. Paramedics was called and then transported him to the hospital. Paramedics noticed that he was short of breath and incoherent, so they ran some CT scans and there was no sign of head injury. Now, after running some blood tests, they noticed that his blood pH and urine was high. This is a condition called alkalosis. In other words, his uh, body fluids were too basic. Welcome back, health nerds. I am your host and your nerd, Stephen Ayala. Please smash that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below. This is a free way to support this channel. Today's sponsor is Cellgenics, Liverygenics, the world's most powerful liver support and detox supplement. It's also enhanced with stem cells. If you want to know more about more information about the research on today's topic and product, it will be linked in the description box below. Now, after questioning his niece, she had found many empty boxes of baking soda that he was using to remedy his pain caused by his ulcer because of his lack of health insurance. With the understanding of what went wrong, the doctors gave him fluids and potassium, which ended up remedying his problem. Now, like I said before, too much of anything, even water can kill you. So supplementation should be done with caution and adherence to some type of protocol. Now, if you want to know when, how much, and for how long you should use baking soda and all the potential benefits, click the link above for more details. Sodium bicarbonate is made by the organs like your stomach, your pancreas, and kidneys every single day in the amount of 500 grams. This is about one pound of sodium and potassium bicarbonate per day in the attempt to neutralize dietary and metabolic acids in the blood and intestinal fluids that surround the body cell. Now the secretion of sodium bicarbonate from the stomach and pancreas has been greatly ignored in the treatment for diabetes and cancer, even though the impairment is well-documented condition. Sodium bicarbonate is necessary for normal alkalization of food and liquids ingested. It is so incredibly important for the production of the kidneys that even the kidneys themselves get into the act of producing sodium bicarbonate. This is big news. We now know the common denominator between hypotremia, inflammation, edema, diabetes, kidney disease, and cancer is the lack of sodium and potassium bicarbonate or your body's inability to produce sodium and potassium bicarbonate because of the lack of mineral salts in the diet. Because of the reduction of sodium bicarbonate output by these three organs, acid conditions build up and then the entire body's physiology begins to change from the state of oxygenation to fermentation. Because of the acid buildup, cellular tissue, glandular, and organ deterioration begins. Thank you, health nerds, for watching. I hope you learned something today. Um, remember, health is wealth. Knowledge is power. See ya.